Hello friends, I am Dr. Vijay Prakash and today I will be telling you how to make temporary crowns by indirect method. So we have taken an index like this of the natural teeth, the teeth which were prepared and then we have done the preparation, made a check cast and over this check cast then I will be making and fabricating uh, your temporary crowns. So I will be showing you how to do that. So first of all, you apply coal mold seal uh, on the prepared teeth like this. We keep and you should apply nicely on the surrounding teeth also because when you are removing that, then you realize that coal mold seal should be applied in these places as well because then it becomes very difficult to remove the uh, the temporaries from the cast. So at least have two layers of uh, the coal mold seal. You apply two layers of coal mold seal so that it is very easy for you to remove. So once we have applied the coal mold seal, now examine the index. Now when we are examining the index, make sure that whatever undercuts are there you remove those undercuts like in this we can see here the undercuts are there just remove this because again it will interfere when you are uh, removing the temporary crown so just remove it like this once you have done that then you take your tooth colored self cure acrylic and Take an appendage or a porcelain jar also you can take. So you take appropriate amount. Take powder like this and liquid. Appropriately you mix the liquid. Mix it. Mix it like this, slightly more you can take the monomer. Once you have mixed it, you should be fast in loading this. And just pour it. So once you have low, once you have poured this like this, then it becomes easier and just tap it so that there is no incorporation of the air bubbles. So you just load it like this, add some more and now what you do, you carefully take the cast and just approximate this onto the cast and just press it in position. like this just press it like this so once you have done this make sure you secure it with the help of rubber bands elastic bands like this and you secure it like this and allow this to cure once it polymerizes, then we are going to remove it. So once it is cured or polymerized, you just check it. Yes, then you remove the rubber bands and carefully remove the index. Okay, so you have the temporaries which have been cured now carefully you have to remove 
so that you can finish and polish so you have to just lift it up like this this i was telling you when you are trying to remove so you should have good amount of so this is the temporary grounds now what i'll be doing i'll be just finishing and polishing this and then we can insert in the patient's mouth so once you have removed the flash finished and polished this then it is ready for uh, cementation uh, on the prepared surface of the tooth and you have to use a uh, temporary luting cement like zinc oxide eugenol for uh, cementing these uh, temporary restorations as these temporary restorations are only for some time so they should not be bonded with any kind of permanent luting cements because then it becomes uh, very difficult to remove one and uh, another thing is you can damage the prepared uh, tooth so with this we come to end of our pre presentation thank you for watching the video